happy morning all today we are going to discuss the topic production in your book you may read the headline the story of village palampur palampur is an imaginary village you can imagine any of our village as palampur in this chapter we are going to discuss how the production activities are carried out in villages so let's start production is the key to a country's economic development production can be agricultural like cultivation of crops or it can be industrial like manufacturing a good over 70 percentage of population in india still lives in villages people living in villages requires various goods and services many of these goods are produced locally thus village is the best place to understand various concepts related to production we have chosen palampur as the place to study production palampur represents a small village in india palampur is well connected by roads 3 kilometers along the all weather roads are connected to the bigger neighboring village called Rainganj. From Rainganj, the same road connects the nearest town, Shapur. Palampur is a small village inhabited by 450 families. As most villages in India, people in Palampur belongs to many different castes. The 80 upper caste families has pakka houses which built with bricks and cement. These houses are quite large. One third of the population were Dalits. They lived in the corner of village in the small houses made with mud and straw. Palampur is one of the increasing number of villages in India that have electricity. Most houses in Palampur have electric connection. Electricity is used to run the tube wells in the fields and also support the local businesses. Palampur have two primary school and one high school. The residents of Palampur also have to access good healthcare facilities a government run primary health care center and a private dispensary like most villages in india agriculture is the most important occupation however all the farmers in palampur are not equally fortunate the 80 upper caste families owns the majority of cultivated lands in palampur the other farmers either owns the small plots of land or the landless laborers and they work as the laborers in the field of landowners. Not all the people in Palampur are the farmers. Just like other villages in India, people in Palampur are engaged in several non-farm activities like shopkeeping, dairy, small-scale manufacturing, and transportation services. All these protection activities require natural resources like land and water and man-made resources like raw materials, human effort, intelligence and money. We use a number of goods and services every day. All these goods and services from the food we eat, the clothes we wear, appliances we use, the services like the banks and the transportation we are used to travel are made available to us through production. Now we see what all are the production requirements are available in Palampur. In the next class, we will discuss about the factors of production. So see you children. Bye.